Welcome to Conquest today with Matthew Asinyang. Hallelujah. Today I want to preach on what I titled Fresh Fire. Fresh Fire, Fresh Fire, Fresh Fire. Ah, ah we are in our season of fire encounter. And ah, ah, if you have been following me, you will contact this fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go to the scripture. In the book of Isaiah chapter 64 verse 1 and 2. I read. Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melting fire burned, the fire caused the waters to boil, to make the, thy name known to thy adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fresh fire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't have time. Just follow me. Hallelujah. I don't have time. I do short videos. Listen to me. Before I begin, let me ask the Holy Ghost to help me. Holy Ghost, help me. As I preach the word to people today, I say, listen to me. Let fresh fire, let fresh fire descend from heaven and rest upon them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If there is anything that is needed in this season and in these times, it's fresh fire. This was the secret of the apostles in the Bible. Hallelujah. They were doing all manner of miracles. Healing was taking place. In fact, handkerchiefs, shadows were healing. The sick deliverance were just happening just because of the encounter of fresh fire. And I come to let you know that if you can encounter this fresh fire today, your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the fresh fire is the answer to the doubt of men of the world concerning believers and concerning men of God and concerning the church. Hallelujah. The unbelievers are doubting the church. They are out doubting. They are doubting ministers. But when the fire come, <laughs> it will shut them up. Hallelujah. Listen, that scripture we have just read gave us three insights. That when the fire come, when the fresh fire come, the water will boil. <laughs> the water will boil. The Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Praise God. The living water there might have run cold. So the fire will come. The water will begin to boil. When fresh fire come, water will boil. Number two, the name of the Lord will be known to the adversaries. Listen, it's time we prove a point to the adversaries. Elijah said, how long shall we continue between two opinions? If Baal is Baal, let us follow him. But if Jehovah God is a God that answered by fire, let us follow him. And he proved it by taking the prophets of Baal to Mount Camel and causing fire to come from heaven. The God that answered by fire came from heaven and the name of the Lord was known. Beloved, minus fresh fire, we cannot prove a point because we are tired of stories. The world is tired of stories. Beloved, we are tired of arranging of miracles. We are tired of uh, prophesying through database. We are tired of those kind of systems. People know about it. Now they want raw fire. Where the sick can get off from their bed and go home. Where those who need deliverance can be delivered without anybody touching them. Hallelujah. Where the, the, the barren can be Come fruitful where God can move in diverse capacity of healing where there are creative miracles that's what the world is waiting for and it's going to happen because Jesus said greater works we are going to do than what he has done hallelujah number three the nation will tremble as his presence beloved when the fresh fire comes the nation will tremble at as the presence of God at the presence of God every nation shall bow Listen to me. When Moses entered into the palace of Pharaoh, he put down the rod. And Pharaoh called his magician to do the same. And as they were doing it, I tell you that the rod of Moses swallowed the rod of the magicians of Egypt. And the whole nation of Egypt bowed. That is exactly what the world is waiting for. That will happen in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I have no time. Let me run. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He that believeth in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. We are tired of receiving cold water now we need hot water it is when the fresh fire comes that the water will begin to boil begin to produce hot water hallelujah there are things i want to mention that can help us to get contact this fresh fire number one is test for it beloved when you test for the fresh fire it will come hallelujah in the book of john chapter 7 verse 37 the bible says in that last day the great door of the feast jesus stood and cried saying if any man test let him come unto me and drink why jesus asking them to come and drink again they were already in a feast they have eaten they have drank but then there is water that jesus is going to give that is superior to whatever they might have drank hallelujah so jesus said that water that thing you have you people have drunk is not enough come on to me i will give you an everlasting water everlasting drink that will not make you test 
test anymore. Hallelujah. That is why fresh fire must come. Test for it and you will get it. Isaiah 55 verse 1 says, Oh, everyone that tested, come ye to the waters. And he that had no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without pride. Beloved, the anointing is going to come upon you free of charge. When you are testing for it, nobody, nobody will sell it to you. Don't buy anointing with money. It cannot be bought with money. It's free of charge. Test for it and it will come. Let me run because of time. Number two, be addicted to prayer. Be prayer addicted. Prayer is powerful and pray without season. God, your father, is waiting to hear you. The God that we serve is our father, is waiting to hear our voice. He wants us to talk to him. He wants us to communicate with him. When we ask him, he will give unto us. Look at Luke eleven thirteen. The Bible says, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gift unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Beloved, go before the Lord and ask him for the Holy Ghost, and he will give to you. Time will not permit me. Let me run. So ask in prayer. God is a God that still answers prayer. He will answer you. Number three, a life of holiness. Holiness is what can give us access into the Father. Beloved, the Bible says, be ye holy for I am holy. Without holiness, no one can see the Lord. Live a holy life and you will connect to this fire. Fresh fire will not come on a vessel that is dirty. It comes on a vessel that is holy. A vessel unto honor, a vessel unto honor, not a vessel unto dishonor. Become a vessel unto honor and this fresh fire will come in the mighty name of Jesus. Number four, complete obedience. The mother of Jesus said to the disciple, whatever he says, you do, you do. Whatever he asks you to do, just do it. Beloved, and Jesus asked the disciple, fill the pot with water. And they did. And the water became white. Listen to me. We just need to, to obey God. Complete obedience is what brings the fire. Stop arguing with God. Ask God and he will give to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number five, get baptized. Are you a, you know, a Christian? You are a believer. For this long, you have not been baptized. Beloved, baptism of the Holy Ghost and baptism of fire is real. Like in the day of Pentecost, as they were in one accord, the power of God entered. They, they entered into the house like a rushing mighty wind and it appeared on their head a glowing tongue so like a fire. Beloved, if you submit to God, he will baptize you. Hallelujah. Get baptized. In the book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 11, the Bible says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I whose shoe I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. That was John talking about Jesus. Jesus is the baptizer. Desire the baptism of the Holy Ghost and it will come. It's not good to be an ordinary Christian. The reason why the enemies have been toasting you up and down, why the power of your fathers have been resisting your prayers is because you are not baptized with fire. When fresh fire comes on you, you will be able to silence the voice of the enemies in the foundation of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Acts of Apostles chapter 2 verse 38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Beloved, you want to prophesy, you want a gift of mocking or miracle, repent and give your life to Jesus sincerely and desire. When you desire the anointing it will come on you. The Holy Ghost fire will come in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I tell you the truth, I tell you the truth if you are genuinely born again, the next thing you need is the power that is the Holy Ghost fire because the the greatest gift God has given to the church, the Holy Spirit. The greatest gift God has given to believers is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, is the Holy Spirit. So receive the Holy Spirit today. Fresh fire is coming upon you. Fire to pray. Fire to do miracles. Fire to lay hand on the sick and recover. Listen to me. Look at my hands. Listen to my hands. I lay hand on you. Receive healing. Receive miracle. You are looking for fruit of the womb. Receive it. By the anointing and the fire of God upon my life, God has been using me to do diverse kind of miracles. Receive yours today in the mighty in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, if you are not born again, this cannot be possible. So give your life to Jesus. If you are not, say after me, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Fresh fire, come upon me. Come upon me today. I receive baptism of the Holy Ghost. I am baptized. I am speaking in tongues. I am walking miracles. I am prophesying. I am walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for baptizing me today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Fire. My name is Matthew Asini and the God General Apostolic Army International. Make sure you join the one for the 4,000 battalion of Apostolic Army now and you will not regret it. The one for the 4,000 believers then who are born are going to see the Lord. Beloved, Apostolic Army is the end time army that God has sent into this world to bring souls back into the kingdom. So, Apostle Apostolic Army, pray for Apostolic Army and partner with Apostolic Army above all. Worship with Apostolic Army and your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. And always call me on 8110020505. Call me for prayer, call me for counseling. And I will pray and counsel you and worship with all this Sunday. 
He said, in Jesus' mighty name, so be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. God be in church this Sunday. Amen.